Hello, this is Nicholas, and I'm going to show you a quick example of a very simple Piper Card based application uh, which asks you for your name and prints a happy message to you. Um, why is this important? Well, there's a twist at the end, um, which I'm rather excited to share with you. Uh, wh how does this work? Well, in only I guess, 43 lines of Python using the Mew editor, I've managed to hack together an application that uses three cards. Uh, here's the first card, which defines a form with an input text box and uh, some instructions, what is your name, along with a button uh, with OK written on it. Um, there's a second card called Hello. What does that do? It displays whatever, uh, Hello, whatever your name is, um, along with another button. Um, with OK written on it, and the third card, called Error, uh, displays an error message in white text on a red background, and after three seconds, it takes you back to the first card, called Get Value. Get Value, in its button, says that its target is called Get underscore Name. Get underscore Name is simply this function, okay? What does it do? Well, it takes the form value and stores that away in the data store and then tells Piper card to transition to the hello card, where, of course, that data will be used to display the person's name with the friendly message, or if there's no form value to return an error. This is very simple, conceptually very simple, and there's not a lot of Python code here. And what Python code there is, is also incredibly simple. Very beginner friendly is what this is, desi is designed to be. If I run the application on my desktop, um, up, up pops a window, what is my name? If I click OK, I get the error message, and after three seconds, there we go, right on cue, uh, I get returned to the form. If I type my name and click OK, I get the friendly message with the button at the bottom. Click that, I go back, transition back to the form entry field where I can change the name and so on and so forth. Now here's the twist for you. works on Android. I've managed to install it on this test mobile phone. Notice the Piper Card icon. Click it. Piper Card takes a few seconds just to load and we get exactly the same application. I don't enter a name. I get the error message. I enter my name, which is rather difficult when you're holding a camera <laughs> and uh, trying to type at the same time as well. But you'll see that the behavior is exactly the same. Click OK. I get Hello Nicholas. I click OK again. I get taken back to the screen. I go back. There's the Hello Piper Card application in the list of installed applications. And so we have, happily, Piper Card now working on Android. Um, and this is, of course, thanks to the Kivi framework, which I'm using to actually draw the user interface on the screen. Next step, hopefully, is iOS on something like an iPhone. Exciting.